Houston County is. Point Conwell against Skelton, and the tap goes Skelton's way. Davis races in to grab it for the Cats. And Wayne County basketball to start. Houston County going to spread out in a 1-2-2 zone. Davis playing back and forth with Robertson. Davis with a catch on the left side. One dribble, picks up the dribble, now bounce feed up to Robertson. Robertson picks up the dribble, goes back to Davis. Davis with a lob inside to Skelton. Skelton jump back up to Davis. In the corner to Canfield, he'll take the three from the corner, front rim, and the rebound to Skelton. Wayne County's second chance points out of tenth, except Conwell comes in and rips it away from Skelton. Conwell with a pitch inside, stolen by Canfield as he read it the whole way. Canfield with a lob ahead of Davis. Davis going to take it in and lay it in with both hands. Good read by Cayman on defense. Good pitch ahead to Logan for the layup. Wayne County up 2-0 here, 7-10 to play in the first. Wayne County looks like they're opening in a man-to-man, -man, Sawyer. Davis on Conwell. Up top there to Baggett, and that's Jed Baggett. Logan's drawing the assignment of guard Conwell. It's going to be an interesting one to watch. Conwell working in on Davis. Davis forces the pass there to Honeycutt. Honeycutt a space dribble with a left hand. Back near midcourt, Clark with a catch. Speed to Conwell. Conwell taking it down, flips up the shot, no good. They, Skelton taps it out of bounds, though. Skelton did a good job to keep Conwell from getting the put back, and so Houston County have to inbound underneath its own basket. Box set here for the Irish. Wayne County with a 2-0 lead here on the Logan Davis basket. Conwell finds a cutter in Clark. And Clark. Six thirty-nine to play here in the first 2-0. The Wayne County lead. Davis walking it up for the Cats. Davis on the left wing corner, Bell. Bell gets it poked away, free along the sideline, out of bounds. They're going to say Justice touched it last. Sorry to go over to Houston County. Yeah, Justice looking for the foul there, but they're letting him play tonight. Got to play physical. Honeycutt to bring it up, running the point there for the Irish. Conwell with a catch off the right side, up top there to Baggett. And Baggett across to Mac Baggett. Now Honeycutt for the elbow jumper. No good. Campfield with a rebound. Wayne County looking to put on the three. Relocates feet inside. Stolen there by the Irish. Mac Baggett heading another way. He'll attack on Justice and whip around with a 360. Misses the shot. And there for the putback is Jed Baggett. We're tied at two. A lot of energy in this place. And Davis across midcourt, the 1 2 2. Davis. Back and forth with Robertson. Corner to Canfield. Canfield back up top to Robertson. Lob inside Skelton. Skelton, elbow jumper, rattle around, falls off to the right, and the rebound to Baggett. Canfield applying some pressure in the backcourt. And now the Irish get it up the sideline. Corner, Clark steps into a lefty three. It's off to Martin. Robertson there for the rebound for Wayne County. Robertson. Writes it there, finds Canfield in the elbow. Canfield. Throws up the runner and it drops through. Campfield with enough space to operate and capitalizes Wayne County with a 4-2 lead. Five minutes to play here in the first. Captain K-Man with his first basket of the night. Honeycutt dribbling out near midcourt. Left wing there to Mac back. Feed inside, knocked away by Robertson. Goes behind the back, it's free. Will settles in. Wayne County starting to settle in nicely. Honeycutt dribbling up top. Low set here for the Irish. Baggett with a catch. Mack cross court there to Clark. Lob back to Mack, nearly out of bounds there in front of Coach Franks. Lob up top to Honeycutt. Left wing Clark. Clark looking to drive. Now feed inside, stolen away by Canfield as they forced what wasn't there. And then stealing outlet pass is Conwell trying to draw a foul on Canfield, and he does, but misses the shot. And that's gonna put Carson Conwell at the free throw line. 6-2, Wayne County, 4.06 to play. Free throw wow. comes up well short. Somebody open the door? 4.06 to play in the first, 6-2, the Wayne County lead. Conwell's first free throw well short. The second free throw also no good, 0 for 2 for the line. He over-adjusted. 
And Skelton pulls the rebound for Wayne County. So good start here for the Cats as Conwell not able to convert from the free throw line. The worst, I guess, was Campfield picking up a foul. Bell in the corner, shot fake. Bounce feed up to Robertson. Robertson cross-court pass here to Davis. Davis now back to Robertson. Wayne County working right to left as you listen. Robertson with a catch up top. Cross-court pass back to Davis. 3.38 to play in the first. Davis slides a bounce pass inside the skelt, leaves the shot short. Clark with a rebound for the Irish. Pitch ahead here to running in with Baggett. That's back Baggett for the reverse layup to cut it to six to four. Case Butler ready to check in. Robertson spins around the defense, into the paint, flips up the runner. Two strong rebound fought for and come out of there with Conwell. Conwell with a right hand dribble on the push. He'll center things, kick it to Clark. Clark with a shot fake. He'll go baseline, flip up the runner, and it's good. We're tied at six here with three minutes to play in the first. A good response by Houston County. Now just got to get settled back in if you're Wayne County. And Davis will walk across midcourt. Left wing to Robertson. Robertson feed inside Davis, nearly gets it poked away, able to secure possession. Camfield now in the corner, double team, kicked it back Robertson, right wing Bell. Bell deep behind the arc, he'll launch. Too strong, Skelton there for the rebound, goes up for the putback and scores it. Nice job, Sailor. Sailor already with a couple of offensive rebounds and able to score that one, Sawyer. Yeah, Sailor great, some second chance opportunities for the Cavs. What's new though? Yeah, I mean, that's just, I mean, as much as anything else, they've got different aspects of the game, but that's as big a key to the success as anything else. Mac Baggett off the left side, Clark up top. Feed inside Conwell, working for a long time in the paint, able to go up off the glass, no good. The rebound fought for Houston County. The three-point shot there by Honeycutt, no good. And Davis goes high for the rebound for the cat. Great defensive possession for Wayne County. Davis across midcourt at 8-6. Wayne County lead, two minutes exactly to play in the first. Butler ready to check at the horn. Bounce feed in the corner to Camfield. Camfield pitch up top, Davis. Davis with a lob inside Camfield. Camfield throws up the runner, no good, and the rebound there to Baggett. Baggett to kick it out to Clark. Clark with a left-hand dribble up the left sideline to a trailing Conwell, right wing, Honeycutt. Looking to drive, gets bumped, kicks it out. Baggett, three-point shot off the left wing, off the front of the rim, right to Skelton. Skelton gets it poked away, but a foul. There on the Irish. Look at Jed Baggett. Yep. Jed Baggett with a foul. The first on the Irish, Butler checking in for Robertson. Really good minutes from Will there. One and a half to play here in the first, eight to six. The Wayne County lead. Davis across midcourt. Davis looking to drive right, drops one off there to Bell. Bell through the legs, working against Clark. Bounce feed Campfield in the corner. Quickly gets it away from the trap. Feed inside, stolen away by Conwell. One minute and six seconds to play here. Cross court pass stolen by Camfield. Stays in bounds, kicks it to Bell. Houston County getting a little greedy there, Sawyer, and Camfield's made them pay a couple of times. Yeah, he has. Came in kind of playing the free safety role a few times. Davis matched up there with Clark. Camfield feed inside Skelton. Skelton bump, shot no good. Conwell with a foul, and that's going to put Sailor at the free throw line. Well, they're getting it to Camfield in some good spots. Making some plays. Skelton at the stripe to add to a Wayne County lead and the free throw up and good. 9-6, 47.8 to play here in the first quarter. The next one is also good. Skelton two for two from the stripe. Go Sailor. And Honeycutt to dribble it up for the Irish. Wayne County with a four-point lead, able to settle in, play the defense they like. Baggett with a catch up top. Mac Baggett over on the left. Honeycutt inside the arc, a space dribble behind it. Looking for Clark off the left side. Instead goes to Baggett off that side. He's called for a travel as he took off before putting it on the deck and on the turnover to go to Wayne County. Wayne County with a solid first quarter to this point, leading 10-6, 26 and a half seconds to play here in the first. Davis to walk it up for the Cats. Working against Clark. Takes it to the right side, spins away, calls for justice, and Bell makes the catch up near midcourt. Back to Davis, 13 seconds. 
Wayne County going to try and run a set here. Camfield with a catch on the far wing, back up top, Bell. Davis on the left wing, looking to drive. Flips up the runner, off the glass, too strong, and the rebound to Clark. Clark with one second, a bounce feed it right to Butler at midcourt, but time will run out. And our score after one, Wayne County team. As it'll be Houston County ball to start the second quarter. It's Wayne County leading 10 to six. Honeycutt across midcourt to set up action here for the Irish. On the floor for Wayne County, Davis, Bell, Camfield, Butler, Skelton, Clark, Connell, Honeycutt, and then the Baggots for the Irish. Honeycutt with a dribble out near midcourt. Bell's given plenty of space. Clark off the right side. Goes through the legs, picks up the dribble. Good help there by Davis. Conwell working against Davis. Gets a backdoor cut there to bag it. And he scores it off the glass. Wayne County got caught watching the dribbler, and they got the dribble at back door in a basket. Cuts it to 10-8. Davis walks it up for the Cats. Right wing bell. Back over to Davis to Butler. Butler. Trying to find somebody, finally finds Camfield. Camfield fouled there by Honeycutt. Nice job by Kamen to draw the foul. And it's a good sell job there because Camfield, with his size and strength, could have just played through that. But Kamen intelligently let him know he was being fouled, Sawyer. For sure. I mean, in, in a game like this, you may have to sell it a little bit and go right at the body of him. I mean, make the, make the official make that decision. Butler with a catch up high. Pitch back to Bell. Bell left wing Davis. Davis with a dribble up top. Right wing Camfield. Back to Davis. Back to Camfield. Camfield loses the handle but tracks it down before it goes out of bounds. Picks up the dribble, finds Butler. Butler shot in the middle of the paint, no good. Guess who's there for the rebound? Skelton. And then it's ripped away by Clark. And here comes Conwell the other way. Conwell with a feed inside. Baggett goes up for two. Missed the point blank shot. And Camfield with a rebound for Wayne County. I don't know if Baggett lost where he was there, or maybe it was the Wayne County defense, but uh, the Cats will take it. Davis with a feed into Skelton. Skelton with a ball fake, goes up for two, scores it, picks up the foul. Oh, wait, he, he put up two fingers. It's going to count. The referee told him that the basket's good. Okay, okay. Well, he's not supposed to know by rule. He calls the foul, according to what I've been told. So that's why he put up two free throws to say he was in the act. 12 to eight as that basket counts and it's two on Jed Baggett. Skelton's free throw too strong and a rebound there to the Irish. Sailor off to a good start in this first half. Conwell backs his way in, loses the handle. Nice save there by Houston County. Feed inside Conwell. Conwell working against Davis. Gets a block from the backside by Butler. Nice help side Case Butler. And then Davis launches one ahead for Bell. Bell saves it in. There to Honeycutt. Now Houston County with numbers. They find a trailing bag it. He lays it in right under the arm of Canfield to cut it to two, 12-10. Nice play there. Wow. Yeah, it really was. Davis to dribble it up for the Cats. Robertson ready to check at the horn. 5.36 to play. Davis penetrates. Fake to the corner. Pitch back to Bell. Bell. Gets it poked away, tracks it down. Now fires it over there to Skelton, but a walk on Bell. Coach Franks asking for a whistle, saying he got held. No call there, but they got the travel. Checking in, Brady Bucciarelli. As he'll replace Jed Baggett. Baggett with two fouls heading to the bench, saw. 5.27 to play in the second. Wayne County in front, 12-10. Hagen Honeycutt to walk it up for the Irish. Right wing there, Conwell. Up top, Clark steps into three from the top of the key, and it's good. Houston County in front, 13 to 12, 5 14 to play in the second. Davis across midcourt. Right wing, Robertson. As Robertson's in to replace Skelton. Penetrates, throws up the lefty, no good. Butler battling, but coming out of there with it was Mac Baggett. And Honey cut to bring it up for Houston County. Houston County, low crossover, kick to the corner. Baggett on a baseline drive. Camfield with a block from the high. Baggett's got it again, and Camfield with another block. Way to stay with it, K-Man. And the rebound to Wayne County. 
4.35 to play in the second. The Cats in front, 13 to 12. Davis with a dribble out near midcourt. Lob over to Robertson. Robertson cross court there to Bell. Bell up top to Davis. Bell feed inside Camfield. Camfield puts it on the deck, spins his way free, lays it up short, and a rebound to Conwell. Conwell will push ahead. Camfield racing back into position. Three-point shot there, Clark. Rattles around and comes out, and the rebound to Butler. Bell wanting to push ahead. He's looking for a three. And Davis trotted across midcourt. Justice with a catch off the right wing. Pass to Davis in the corner. Feet inside Camfield. Camfield goes up for two, and they're going to get a block there on the iris. If that's on Conwell, that's two. I think it is. Nope, it's on 12. It's on Honeycutt. It's his second. 3.52 to play three fouls on the Irish this quarter. None on Wayne County. Camfield at the stripe. First free throw good. Brady Link and Jed Baggett check. They're going to get Conwell a rest as well as Mac Baggett. So Honeycutt going to stay in there. Conwell's kind of been quiet anyway. Yeah, no points thus far. Logan doing a really good job with that assignment. And that rebound drops in. Or a free throw, rather. Second free throw good, and it's 14-13. Honey cut across midcourt. Clark on a baseline drive. Kicks it back. Three-point shot there from Jed Baggett's good. And Houston County back in front, 16-14. to They thought it was a timeout, but it was just trying to get the net. They've had an issue, Sawyer, in these games with the net sticking on the rims. Yeah, they have, especially on that end. Pass there to Davis. Davis with a feed down to Bell. Bell trapped in the corner, gets it back to Davis. Davis with a catch up top. Bell along the sideline. Robertson, short corner Butler. Butler goes baseline, tries to finish there with a short shot. Shot along the baseline and saved off the back of Bell and over to the Irish. Wow, what a play there by Link. And they're gonna get Conwell back in quickly here with 312 to play in the second. And it's 16-14, Honeycutt going to get a rest. He's a little disappointed, but uh, the two fouls might play into that. Houston County crowd coming alive, particular it seems. And Conwell going to walk it up here as we're back to action after the timeout. <clears throat> Davis done an excellent job on Conwell. Right wing Clark. Clark finds a cutter there and Baggett. Baggett had the lane. Flips up the shot in the middle of the paint. No good. And the rebound tapped and controlled there by Skelton. Big rebound by Saylor. Great contest, too. Baggett may outguessed himself that time. Yeah, he had a he had the right block wide open. Davis looking to drive, loses the handle, tracks it down back near midcourt. Right wing Camfield. Camfield looking to drive, picks up the dribble, double team, and a bounce feed back to Davis. Left wing Bell. Bell with a ball fake. Now looking to drive. Pull up jumper there off the left side, and he cashed it in. Justice Bell, we're tied 16-16. Conwell will walk it up for the Irish. Clark, space dribble with that left hand, looking for a cutter, not there. Pass there to Bucciarelli, and then inside the link, link shot no good, and the rebound pulled down by the Cats. Davis across midcourt, over to Bell. Bell working up top against Clark, right wing Davis. Now to Skelton. Skelton over to Davis, 150 to play here in the second. Skelton with a catch there behind, behind the arc. Camfield steps into three off the right wing. That's too strong, and the rebound. Tap there, can Wayne County get it? Nice hustle, Case Butler, and Skelton able to get it. Pass up top to Davis, eludes his grasp, but then he gets it on the second try. Skelton in the post area, goes up for two. Shot comes out, and the rebound there to Bucciarelli. And a foul on Wayne County. That's the first foul on the Cats. Sawyer this quarter. We're tied at 16. Wayne County with a couple of opportunities there missed. We got Sarah Beth Terman and her mom Sarah watching. Sawyer, I know we got a lot of shout outs out of the way early and based on some texts I received late. I'm not sure that uh, people heard all those. Inbound there to Conwell. Conwell across midcourt. Picked up there by Davis, left wing Clark. 
Clark looking to drive on Camfield, spins with the left hand, gets it blocked Ooh. by Saylor, as Saylor just catch, caught it out of the air with two hands. Camfield on a push ahead. Pitch back to Davis, 105 to play before the half. Davis working against this Irish zone. Bell, cross court to Davis. Davis lob up to Camfield, Camfield's elbow jumper off the back iron and again off the back iron and the rebound pulled down by Conwell. Conwell will bring it up for the Irish, 43 seconds to play. Left wing there to Honeycutt, up top to Jed Baggett. Clark open for a three, that's good. Clark starting to feel it a little bit as he's nailed two threes this quarter in Houston County in front 19 to 16. Bell across midcourt, working against Clark. In the corner to Skelton, dumped down to Canfield. Canfield tries to save it, throws it out of bounds. Over to Houston County with 16.3 to play here in the first half. And Houston County going to call a timeout here, Sawyer. So you really want to run something, try to get a basket. Martin Jr. watching. How about that? Okay, so we're back to action here as Conwell walks it across midcourt. Picked up there by Davis. What a job by Davis defensively here. And Davis comes up. Looked like he was trying to foul. They didn't call it. Step back for Honeywell. His three at the horn. No good. The rebound to Camfield outlet. And there is that horn. Our score at the half is Houston County 19, Wayne County 16. We'll be back with a quick recap of the first half after this break. You're listening to Region. Hatcher both listening in. The con man. Cheering against the Irish. Second. <laughs> there we go. He and Greg Martin both. Yeah, him and Greg Martin text me that. <laughs> Davis with a feed inside to Campfield. Campfield with a kick to Robertson. His three-pointer off the mark and a good rebound underneath there by Conwell. Pitch ahead. Now Robertson, nice defensive play. Intercepting the pass, showing off the defensive back skills. Robertson kick up top Davis. Davis with a ball fake back to Robertson. Left wing Davis. Back to Robertson. Feed into Skelton, Skelton bump. Nice head fake, Sailor picks up the foul and he'll go to the line for two free throws. And the second on Conwell, I think he made a shoe change at halftime. Who did? I think Conwell did. Oh, okay. Skelton's first free throw, too strong. Gracie, Cole, and Nick Terman are watching. 19 to 16, the Irish lead. Skelton second, also strong. And Clark there for the rebound for the Irish. Honeycutt with a handoff to Clark up top there to bag it. Clark on a baseline drive. He'll go up with a left hand and lay it up for two. Right hand drive, but a left hand finish. 21 to six, the Irish lead. 7.02 to play here in the, in the third. Davis feed inside Camfield, dumped down Skelton. Skelton hesitates, lays it up for two. Nice high-low action there from the Cats. Wayne County with a good adjustment. They've gotten some good opportunities, Sawyer, here in early going after that zone being so tough in the first half. Got Alex Bird listening in, too. Another shout-out to the Birdman. Mac Baggett, left wing Jed Baggett. He'll step into a three front rim, but Mac there for the rebound. Kick out Clark, tees up a three from the wing. That's too strong. And the rebound, Conwell taps. Baggett steps through, goes to the rim, and Wayne County fouls, putting Baggett at the line. Landon Warren from Perry County watching. Quite the ball player himself. Absolutely. Bright, bright future for that young man. Free throw up and good there by Mac Baggett. 22 to 18. Baggett trying to regain that, get that five point lead back, but shoots it a bit too strong and Davis flies in for the rebound for the Cats. Logan to push ahead with a right hand. Right wing to Robertson. Feed there into the elbow area to Skelton. Skelton kicks it to the corner to Bell. Bell back to Skelton. Skelton gives it back up top to Davis. Corner Canfield, his three pointers. God! <laughs> Quick release, Cayman Canfield. Cashes in the three and it's 22-21. Baggett on a baseline drive working against Skelton. Kick up top there to Clark. Cross court to Mac Baggett. Conwell. Conwell can't do anything on Davis. Clark though with a high arc and three comes up way short. Out of bounds. And Conwell unable to save it. Wayne County with an opportunity to take a lead. 
We got Rhonda and the sheriff listening in again. So Rhonda and Shane Fisher. And Buzz, Buzz and AAC Mills watching in tonight. And Katrina. Right wing Robertson out near midcourt. Now Davis off the left side. Law back up top, nearly stolen. Robertson doing a good job to meet the pass and drawing the third foul on Honeycutt. Honeycutt had something to say to the official, got away with it. Second foul there on the Irish here in the third. 22-21, the Houston County lead. Robertson, backcourt Davis. Clark at the top of this point zone, forces a pass over to Robertson. Feed in there to Camfield. Camfield with a couple of dribbles, kicks it back to Bell. Bell loses the handle out of bounds, but it's last touched there by Honeycutt. Wayne County basketball here beside the bench, 522 to play in the third. Davis in the backcourt. Quiet in here, Sawyer, for the third quarter. I figured some energy might pick up. Maybe there are people still at the concession stand. I saw a line backed up quite a ways. Wayne County playing back and forth. Davis going to tee up a three from the left side, and it's off to Mark Conwell. Taps the rebound to himself and eludes Camfield in the backcourt. And now a pitch ahead to Camp. Oh, well, he got a travel there on Baggett. His Baggett got tripped up along the baseline. Cutler Ray, Jason Ray watching. Davis bringing it up across midcourt. 450 to play in the third. Wayne County with another chance to take a lead. Bounce feed over to Robertson. Robertson back up top to Davis. Back to Robertson Bell. Bell with a pass underneath to Skelton. Skelton steps through, goes high off the glass and scores it for the Wayne County lead. Nice pass, Justice Bell, and a good catch there, Skelton. Yeah, great job to Sky for that one by the Sailor. Honeycutt working into the paint, now kicking it back out to Conwell. Wayne County doing a good job to cut off the driving lanes. Honeycutt behind the arc looking to drive. Gets fouled. No, gets called for the travel as he stumbled. We got a timeout here at Houston County. I like the way the third quarter is going. Going to see if they can change it up. Bell with a catch in the corner. Back to Robertson. Davis back to Robertson. Robertson over to Bell. Bell will bring it across midcourt and will push ahead corner of Skelton back to Bell. Davis wanting a shot there off the left feet inside Canfield. Canfield with a turn in the paint. Shot up with the right hand. No good. Conwell with a rebound. And he'll push ahead for the Irish. Davis, nice good job to cut him off. Kick into the corner there to Honeycutt. Up top, Clark. Clark's been the main gun, hadn't he, Sawyer? For yeah, he has. He's been the leading scorer. Now drive there by Baggett. Kick to the corner, Mac Baggett. His fade away from three from the corner is good. 25-23. And Davis skying up to clear the net after it had been up against the rim. Robertson to inbound into Bell. Full court pressure here, at least three quarter pressure here from Houston County. Robertson back to Bell. Bell back to Robertson. A lob ahead there to Davis. Davis at the free throw line. His shot too strong. Skelton there for the rebound. Put back block, but a foul on Conwell. Wayne County. Getting on the glass, Sawyer. Sailor Skelton is having himself a night on the offensive or defensive glass, scoring the ball. He he came to play. Skelton at the free throw line. So you think they're going to get Con? Wayne County's leaving them, leaving some points out there at the free throw line, and I think they're going to get Conwell for the last 325. Yeah, he's going to hit the bench with three fouls, and that's a third team foul on the Irish. And Skelton now to try and pull the Cats within one. And that one's off the back iron, bouncing around. Canfield there for the rebound. His put back block. We're going to get a jump ball. And it's going to go over to Houston County. That, that's the right call. Canfield shaking his head. I think he just brought that one down enough to allow the hand to get in there. Here comes Butler up off the bench to check for the Cats. Honey cut across midcourt, left wing Clark. Ball fake goes in against Bell, flips it up at the line. They're going to get a block underneath there, and that's going to put Clark at the line. Yeah, Will still sliding when he was trying to take that hit. That means that on Will. Just two. 
Davis is going to slide in there to rebound position here as Clark's got two at the stripe. Clark's first free throw is up and good, 26-23. And now Butler enters to replace Robertson with 3-12 to play in the third. Clark for another. And it's also good. Man, nice looking stroke there from Clark. He touched nothing but net. 27-23, 3-10 to play here. Davis back and forth. Now pitch ahead to Skelton. Skelton with a two on one. Instead, he'll reverse it back to Davis out near midcourt. Davis working around Clark. In the paint, picks up the dribble. Law back up top to Bell. Bell, left wing Davis, feed inside Skelton. Skelton turns, jump pass up top Bell. Bell fading away for three and Boom. good. Justice Bell, big shot there. And a timeout, Wayne County, as Bell cans a fade. If you win, you can kind of relax and just figure out who you're going to be playing. And I'm not too relaxed. Uh, well, Are you? Well, I'm saying if you're Frank Hughes. Are you? I mean, no. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry. I, I get what you're saying. You were making a good point. I'm just saying me and you. Honeycutt back to action here, dribbling up top, matched up with Bell. They find a cutter there and bag it. He goes with a reverse layup, scores it with a back leg. Jed bag it. 29-26, pitch ahead there to Butler. Butler across midcourt, waits, waits, hands it off. There to Bale, and Bale goes back forward, trying to feed it up to Butler, and that'll turn it over back to Houston County. Wayne County got to get the ball in the middle of the floor. Bucci Arelli to inbound into Honeycutt. And they're doing this with Conwell on the bench. Honeycutt, Bell trying to apply some pressure. A bounce feed, dangerous feed inside there to Clark. Kick up top, Mac bag it from the top of the three. That's, I that didn't touch anything but air. Somebody opened another door. <laughs> and that'll turn it over to the Cats. Good defense, Wayne County. A 29-26 Houston County lead, 156 to play here in the third. Davis over to Bell. Back to Davis. Houston County just in a soft zone press. Pitch ahead there to Skelton. Cross court to Bell. Bell, deep three for the tie. Comes up short. Rebound going to track down out of bounds. Camfield gave chase and couldn't come up with it. Uh, I, I don't love that shot. Might have been feeling it. Well, heat heat check. check. Heat checkage. Honey cut across midcourt. Through the legs, working against Bell. No count on him. Picks up a ball screen going right. Honeycutt, low crossover, finds his way down the lane, flips up a runner, and somehow scores it. What a shot there by Hagen. Honeycutt, that was good defense by the Cats. And Honeycutt found a way to cash it. Davis, pitch ahead to Skelton. Skelton, working there on the baseline again. Bucci, Morelli, pitch up top to Davis. Davis to Bell, open for three there off the left wing. Front rim, no good. Bucci, Morelli can't come down with it. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Cats. 105 to play here in the third. Houston County 31, Wayne County 26. Good job to fight and create the second chance. Davis to inbound here. Feed inside Skelton. Skelton hesitates, turns, lays it up short. Canfield there for the rebound. Put back, no good, but a foul. I put Cayman at the line, and Cayman doing Cayman work on the glass. And Robertson going to check back here with 101 to play in the third. As Camfield to the stripe. First free throw up and good. Robertson checks for Bell here for the last 101. And Bell exits as Camfield's cut it to four, 31 27. Camfield's next, also good. Camfield with a good quarter. 31 28, the Houston County lead. And Honeycutt across midcourt. Robertson going to give plenty of space, so Honeycutt could basically hold it for one if he wanted to. Now Robertson to come up and force action. Ball screen going right. Honeycutt, corner Clark, back Honeycutt. Honeycutt trying to clear out. Robertson with a count on. Honeycutt goes behind the back, picks up the dribble. Now to Clark. Clark with a ball fake, kick back out. Jump pass here. Now back to Honeycutt out of the hands of Baggett. 25 seconds to go. Honeycutt works around Robertson. Picks up the dribble. Might have got away with a travel. Baggett, a couple of dribbles, finds Clark. Clark looking for a ball screen. Rejects. Goes down the lane line. They're going to get a foul on Davis. 
That's just the third on Wayne County, though, here in the quarter. And Wayne County still with another to give. And just the first on Logan. And 13.9 seconds to play in the third. 31-28. Jay Henson watching. Pitch into Baggett. Baggett. Kick back. Honeycutt with 10 seconds. Passed on a three. Lined up with Canfield. Canfield going to foul. Had one to give, and so Canfield took it with 5.2. Yeah, just a second on Cayman. They got the matchup. Houston County got the matchup they wanted, and so Cayman decided to take the foul to prevent that score opportunity. Clark to inbound. He can't find anybody. Now finds Baggett. Back to Clark. Three seconds. Clark. Down low to Baggett, fade away at the horn, comes up short. There's Butler there for the rebound, and our score after three. Houston County 31, Wayne County Honeycutt and Conwell. Davis in the backcourt. Robertson off the left side. Happy birthday, Sarah Blackwell, watching back home. Wayne County with open possession here in the third quarter. Davis with a catch off the right side. Houston County creeping that zone out near midcourt. Robertson off the left side. Back to Davis. Davis penetrates, finds Camfield along the baseline, goes up for two and scores. And how did Cayman find that angle? What a play there from Cayman. 31 30, 7 25 to play in the fourth. Honey cut across midcourt. That was a big basket. Yes, it was. As that puts pressure back on Houston County. Conwell working against Camfield. Spins, kicks, bag it, up top Clark. They've got Davis guarding Clark now, feet underneath. Bag it, head fake, gets Skelton off his feet, and plays, and scores it with a little half hook. What a play there from Bag it. Yeah, that was a good head fake. Davis off the left side, pitch ahead Skelton. Skelton, nice meet, pitch ahead Camfield. Camfield gets it poked away there and takes a tumble. There is Conwell knocked it out of bounds. Conwell thought he had caught a foul, but he had just caught it out of bounds. The referee gave him some clarification. Right, but came and got up. He, he landed kind of awkward. He got too much adrenaline to be hurt right yeah. now. Robertson checks out in favor of Bell. Davis open for three in the tie, and it's too strong. Canfield battling for the rebound, and it's ripped away there by Clark. Here comes Honeycutt on a push ahead, met there by Bell. Honeycutt works the left wing Clark. Clark with a ball fake, works in on Davis, tries to back his way in, met by two. Three-point shot there by Baggett, it's too strong, as he might have rushed that one a bit, and Butler there for the rebound for the Caps. Clark got off to that good start, but ever since Logan started guarding him, it's been uh, pretty quiet. Logan, the shutdown defender, came and working his way in, shoots the fadeaway oh. good. <laughs> Captain Payman. He's filled it. Big basket there. It's 33-32, 6.05 to play in the fourth. Whoever makes a run is going to feel pretty good here, Sawyer, yep. if anybody can. had not been much separation all night. Honeycutt dribbles in against Bell, goes all the way to the rim and finds a way and lays it in. That's a tough bucket. Davis bringing it up. 35-32, the Houston County lead. 5.43 to play in the four. Davis dumps one inside to Skelton. Skelton gets him off the feet, oh. couldn't score it as he picks up a foul there on Baggett. How many is that, Sawyer? That's on Jet. Oh, okay. They got it on the other bag. Matt. And Skelton able to can the free throw. Wayne County just hanging in there. 35-33, starting to execute on the offensive end. And that one comes out, but Canfield there for the rebound. He's put back. Uh, yes, it's good. They've been rolled around and dropped through, and we're tied at 35. As Canfield getting on the glass. You can't hold him down for long. He's Sawyer. going to work six points already in the quarter after nine to the first three, and did by everybody for the Wildcats tonight. Just got to do it for five and a half more minutes. Honeycutt across mid quarters. We're tied at 35 after the three point play on the free throw miss. Honeycutt baseline shot, and the follow away is good. Wow. Wayne County to take that, I think. Honeycutt passed it in. As he went baseline, Bell was forcing him left and just found his way into fall away over the top of Skelton. Lob ahead to Saylor. Saylor a turn with the right hand dribble, get it poked away. Free along the baseline, and we got a tie up. 
What do we got here? Jump ball, and it's going to go over to Houston County on the steal there by Honeycutt. Yeah, it's a little too much dribble there. I thought might get it out to the corner there a little bit sooner, but. Bull good. Horton got to come up, clean up the bulls and witnesses. Get it, Bull. Big defensive play there by Houston County as they just active hands caused that turnover. You know Wayne County was just trying to get it set up because Cayman's kind of having his way here, and we've seen him being able to really go on rolls. And it looked like he was getting ready to get started with one. Houston County with a two-point lead in the basketball, five minutes to play here in the fourth as Honeygut crosses Miss Court. Bell still forcing him left. Bounce feed there to Baggett. Up top there to Conwell, blast deflected there by Canfield and stolen by Skelton. We came in with a handful of steals tonight as well. Well, Conwell struggling. Davis up top, bounce feed Cayman. Cayman dribbling in, they're going to get a charge there. What a job there by Baggett to step in and take the hit. He sold it. He sold it. He didn't, he saw it. Give him a Grammy or <laughs> Oscar or whatever it is for actors. He sold it. I give him credit. I just, it's a I, tough I one. I, it is. I mean, he's in there with a lot of bodies, but you could see him. Mean, we could see him falling before he ever really took the contact. But the officials, again, there's a lot of bodies in there. Hard to see. Tamfield saying he's got three, making sure Coach Franks knows. And a dribble up top by Honeycutt is where it's a four and a half minute mark. Bell trying to force him left. Bell giving plenty of space. One foul each side here to give way to Conwell. Camfield to give. They're content with just the well, they're gonna, I'm sure they're going to look to score if they can get something, but Wayne County trying to get extended. This is what the defense Houston County wanted is to get extended, and that's what they got here and looking to drive. Honeycutt looking to take it with a left hand all the way to the rim, and Bell with a block from the backside. And the rebound to Butler as Bell with the athletic play. Wayne County down two with the ball. Davis dribble up top, trying to get Camfield inside. Clark breaks on it, nearly got a steal. Davis, Camfield for three off the right side in the lead, short, gets his own rebound, puts it on the deck, finds Butler. Butler finds Camfield. Oh, Camfield passed on the three. Davis on the baseline, drive dump. Skelton lays it up for two, and we're tied. Great find by Logan. 37-37. Right, so the offensive rebound. Yeah, the offensive rebound. Logan just creating for others. What's new? Oh, Clark might have got away with an extra step there. Conwell with a catch up top. Bag it. Hand off Honeycutt. Conwell hadn't done much. Looking to drive on Camfield. Camfield with three. Stands tall. Goes high off the glass. Couldn't score it. And Bell there for the rebound. Great job by Cayman. The guard without fouling there. Forced a tough shot. Just building a wall. Bell across midcourt. 3.03 to play. We're tied at 37. Wayne County going to make them extend now. Over to Davis. Wayne County hadn't led in a while, Sawyer. I don't think they've led the whole second half. Had a lead at the end of one. Wayne County playing back and forth. Davis and Bell up top. Tied at 37, 2.45 to play in the fourth. Davis with a feed up high to Butler. Butler gets it poked away from behind, but it's going to stay with Wayne County as it goes out of bounds. 2.40 to play here in the fourth. Tied at 37. I was well, he's, wondering he's if they... County's not matched up here. I was wondering if they might go back with Will with this pressure coming, just get another ball handler out there. Robertson in for Butler. 2.40 to play here in the fourth. Bell inbound to Davis. To Robertson. Robertson looking. Lob over here to Skelton. Skelton alertly meets it. Hands off to Davis. Bounce feed over to Robertson. Bell in the corner. Trap. Hook pass. Davis goes high to grab it. Skelton has the three off the right side. Passes on it. Will. Feet inside Camfield, it's loose along the deck. Camfield saves it, Honeycutt with a steal. And he's trying to call timeout, and he gets one there in the corner. It's gonna be a full for Houston County. We're tied at 37 with 2.13 to play in the fourth. Wayne County fans up, Clark was hiding. <laughs> trying to disguise himself over there in a sea of white. <laughs> Except some people are painted green, it didn't work. Yeah. Honeycutt no, no, across mid court. I just now knows the body paint guy. Ball screen going right. Tries to clear out Conwell. There to bag it to Conwell. Conwell loses the handle. Now goes crossover. Corner Clark. Landed on by Davis. Back up to Conwell. 
We had overtime first time, and we're tied here in the first game. We're tied here, 145 to play. Bag it. Walk. Shuffled his feet. Official saw it. Turn it over to Wayne County, 141 to play now, here in the fourth. If you're Wayne County, do you try to hold this as long as you can or just get the take the first good look I, you get? Or Well, I don't know if I'd hold it for a minute, 40. I mean, you don't want to turn it over. You want to get a shot. Yeah, you yeah, know, for and sure. That, Houston County didn't. And Wayne County didn't the last time, so. Nobody knows your team like the coach. Feed inside there to Skelton. Up top to Robertson. Robertson to Babe Davis. To Bell. Bell, shot fake. Pull up jumper. Front rim. Skelton there for the rebound. He's bodied out of bounds. And on the foul, it'll be Wayne County ball along the baseline with 114. Again, the second chance opportunities for the Caps. Camfield to inbound. Inbounds are going to go out of bounds, save. Can Camfield save it? No, Conwell. And a save, they're not throw away. Pass Conwell, or bag it rather. Ooh. Threw it into the backcourt. Wayne County avoided disaster. My goodness. And Davis across midcourt. We couldn't just get an easy win, could we? It has to be well, one knew, of these. You knew it wasn't going to be. <laughs> oh, no. Skelton, cross court pass there, Bale. Lob inside Skelton. Skelton turns, goes up, lays it in for the lead. Wayne County in front with 45 seconds. Honeycutt across midcourt. Right wing there to bag it to Clark. Clark working against Davis. Backs his way in. Kick. Honeycutt three. That's deep. And the rebound to Bell. Bell in the backcourt looking to get fouled. Pass there to Davis and they get a foul. That's the third on Houston County. Wayne County by two with 26.1. Got to be strong with the ball, meet passes. Frank Hughes was in this position earlier, forced the free throw situation and got a miss on a one out of two. Well, we got some condensation on the floor. The officials timeout. Back to take a two point lead. Get it to Cayman. Oh. And they do fight it, Cayman. Cayman. Dumps to Skelton. Skelton going to lay it up too strong, and the rebound's free along the baseline. And Skelton fouled there on the sideline. That's the fourth team foul. Boy, has Wayne County avoided again. Houston County's had a couple of chances here and just had those opportunities slip through the grasp. Davis to inbound. Find Canfield. Canfield on the cut. He'll go in and lay it up for two. Fox still running. No timeout. Houston County, now they see it with 15.2. And Wayne County by four as Campfield scores it with a left hand. I'm so glad they didn't. They just let that one go, the no call there. Foul, sir. You got fouls to give here in the backcourt. Honeycutt just going to make a catch. And Robertson pushes up. Honeycutt on a dribble drive. Turns away, going to take it down the middle. And there's the foul just before he could dump it down for the layup to bag it. Now you got to be careful. You got two more fouls to give, but you got to be careful because you don't want to foul in the act. And they got a baseline IB. Coach Frank's going to call timeout, making sure that his guy's on the same page, and that's a wise time. The county coach says you got to shoot it basically when you get it because Wayne County's likely to foul. You don't have time to mess around anyway. All right, so they got to run their best baseline IB play. I don't know that I wouldn't turn Cayman around. And then Bale knocks it loose along the baseline. Baggett goes up for two, scores it, and they got a timeout with four seconds to go to cut it to two, and Wayne County narrowly thought they might have got a foul there. Yeah, I thought, I thought Justice might have got away with one, but you still made a and Wayne County still got two fouls to give. Logan can run the baseline. And he will. Trying to get Camfield open, get it to Bale, and a foul there by Conwell with 3.1. And Bale's going to go to the line for two free throws. Oh, what a throw. Showing off the arm. Quarterback, question mark? <laughs> All right, Justice. One of the guys you really want on the line. I think they're going to put Case in to guard the inbound pass. Well, if you make them both, that's true. You don't have to do all like because they can't stop the clock. They got out of timeouts. Bell's first free throw, good. good. Big good. shot, Justice Bell. That makes it a three-point lead. 42-39, and Butler going to race down here now. A little bit different situation here for for Wayne County because they've got fouls to give the Cats. And Bell for another one. And he cast it. Yes, sir. Wayne County, 43. 
Houston County 39. Let's breathe a little bit. Give Sawyer, but you just don't want to foul in the act. Inbound to Conwell. Conwell going to dribble up. Try and jump into Camfield as he launches up from midcourt. And Wayne County pulls it off, Sawyer. Wayne County 43. Houston County 39. And it's Wayne County that'll move on to the region championship against the Frank Hughes Lions on Thursday night. We'll be back with a quick recap of this game after this break. 